How do you do, fellow kid? Thor needs to stop sending you memes. That was very funny the other day. My dear, I am sure I don't know what you mean. Oh, I know you do. And I'll give you this. It was well played. You got me. If you were making an accusation, you would, of course, come with incontrovertible proof of my involvement, no? How are you so good at this? Lots of practice. You know this can't last, right? You're on borrowed time. Look around you. None of the Avengers could stop my reign. What makes you think you can? Because it won't be just one of us. It'll be all of us. We'll bring you down by working as a team. Oh, they're all on your side now, are they? Tony, they've been dying for some payback. Hmm. That's probably true. We're gonna win this prank war. We're gonna get you when you least expect it. Older heroes than you have tried, kid. Exactly. Older. All right, I'm in. Game on. Hey, serious question? Oh boy, my least favorite thing. Shoot. When we win, are we gonna come out of hiding? Like, are the Avengers going public again? Oh dear lord, yes. I hope so. So what happens, uh, to me in that case? Well, I suppose that's up to you. I mean, are people going to accept me as an Avenger? You already are an Avenger. I just don't know that I'm ready to be seen like that. You don't have to be. That's what the masks are for. But everybody knows who you are. Because I told them. You want to be Miss Marvel and Kamala Khan and make those two separate people? We'll do what we can to protect you. I am doing my best not to cry right now, but, um, thank you. Hey, old man. Hey, kid. So, kid, you given any serious thought to branding? Curating your cultural presence, controlling the narrative? As it were. Uh, not really. You're telling me you don't have a blog. <laughs> when was the last time you talked to someone under 30? I mean, besides me. Uh, Jarvis is technically a teenager. You're gonna need to file a copyright for your whole look and color scheme. You don't want copycats. That doesn't sound very superhero-y. It's not. You know, once upon a time, I had a whole office of lawyers dedicated just to this. Wow. You'll thank me when someone tries to sell unlicensed t-shirts with a picture of you. People would do that? Make a me shirt and then sell them? Oh, they would. Don't put it past them. How freaking cool is that? Bootleg t-shirts uh, of me. I don't think you're fully grasping the horror of lost revenue. Hey, kid, listen. I want to broker a surrender. Too much for you, old man. Uh, oh, no, not the pranks. You're still dead, but that's later. What then? I give up. I won't try to prove to you that I'm still cool. Aw. It's too much work. I spend all my spare time reading music blogs and fashion pages and watching video streams just so I can pretend to have offhand knowledge of something cutting edge. <laughs> oh, wait. You've really been doing that? No, of course not. Just a couple hours. A day. But that's time we don't have. Mr. Stark, you're Iron Man. You're already cool. Only because I constantly work at it. Trying to be cool is the least cool. Is this some sort of Zen Cone thing? Because that's an internally contradictory statement. You're the one who taught me to just be myself. Did I? Yes. No one's better at being you than you. I should put that on a mug. Man of Iron. So close. Group three, what's your status? Thor, science talk with me. Gladly. How can I advance the mortal arts? I'd like to run some tests on the hammer. Hmm. Tony... This is not a trick, honest. Data code. 
We've been through this. I know, I know, but I want to attack this from a different angle. I think we can quantify worthy as a measurable value. And how would that possibly help you? Then I could make all our weapons work on some worthy or not worthy paradigm. Want Iron Man's suit? Gotta be ridiculously unworthy. We read you. Alert us if anything changes. It's clear to me that you don't understand the fundamental difference between our kind. Oh, I do. I just think I could do better. You would surpass the gods? Well, not all of them, but some? Sure. This is the Chimera. Please respond. Can I be serious with you for a second? Unlikely. Now, you're extremely old. Off to an excellent start. Which I mean in the best possible way. Okay, hang on, this was going somewhere. Chimera system check. Now we... What I mean is, you've seen some dark times. I have. Anything like this? Far worse. Well, that's something at least. Chimera. So you think we have a chance? Before, I never would have doubted it. But we are not as we once were. Now, I'd really like to end this on a positive note. Agreed. Whether we succeed or fail, there is no one I would rather have at my side. You're talking about Cap now, aren't you? This is the Chimera. What's your ETA? Hey, Blondie. Stark? Chimera to field units. What's your status? May I be frank with you? You can be anybody you want to be, pal. I do not wish to overstep my bounds, but there is something we must discuss. Oh, you want to be serious, Frank. I see. You have my full attention. I worry about you. I worry about your future. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Group 3, what's your status? I have been watching you in the field of battle. I appreciate it. I always perform better with an audience. You are fearsome and glorious, as always. But I can tell. The suit is doing more work than it once did. Well, I'm out of practice. I've had years of glorious inactivity. Of course I'm gonna lean on the tech until I get my sea legs again. Oh, I have no doubt that day will come. But you are mortal. This cannot be forever. Dude! Data code. What happens in 20 years? You can no longer match the suit. This feels like an intervention. It's just not what I thought it would be for. I will fight beside you until the end of all things. But I do not think you are a man who knows his limits. I will give you that. I want you to live as long a life as you deserve. But you must be willing to let go when the time comes. We read you. Alert us if anything changes. Do you think it will hold this time? Gonna need some context there, fella. The Avengers. Can we succeed where we failed before? Well, that says only if you and me play nice. I do not think we need to play at all. Our work is serious. I felt there was no way we could recover after A-Day. Well, it's not like you stuck around to find out, is it? You strike true. But there were questions I had to answer for myself. His death shook us all. Sure as hell did. We always knew the risks, just never expected it to be him. Now, you see why I fear what would happen if we lost another of our number. I get who you mean, but... We can't coddle her, or even hope to tell her what to do. I would not be able to forgive myself if something happened. Kamala's got the gift. The best we can do is stand behind her. Be there if she needs it, but not in her way. I wish there was another way. One without the constant dread. Yeah, welcome to being a parent. Or so I'm told. Copy. Data added to the war table. Hey, Tony. Sup, Bruce? Bruce, 
Tony, how can I help you? Two things I just wanted you to know. First up, I've been giving it a lot of thought, and I forgive you for all of it. Tony, don't thank me right away. Let's just sit with it for a bit. So, anything you want to say before I move on? Okay, look, as much as I am flattered by the generosity of your forgiveness, there's a but coming. I didn't ask for it. Didn't you, though? I... I don't even know what to do with that. Are you calm enough for the second thing? Fine. Okay, then here it is. Bruce, I'm sorry. It wasn't only your fault, and it was wrong of me to blame you that much. I was projecting. Textbook stuff. Shocked you didn't realize it. And you all... Oh, for God's sake. Man's gonna stay on brand, Banner. Talk through something with me. All right, shoot. We're the brains of this operation, right? I mean, Jarvis probably counts, but... That's just a reflection of me in the end. Where are you headed with this? I think we have a long-term problem. We're gonna have a science gap. Think about it. AIM is standing on our shoulders with all my research, infinite money, and more MIT graduates than you can count. Any new tech or toys we can muster, they're gonna find a counter for it faster than we can build them. We're going to lose the war. On numbers alone. We can't compete when it comes to an arms race. So, what's the alternative? That's what I was coming to you for. I don't know. How do we turn that disadvantage around? Well, maybe we can stop thinking of ourselves as a superpower in a cold war. It's never gonna be symmetrical. Wrong metaphor, then. Exactly. We're not evenly matched. They're an occupying army, the newcomers. We're the insurgency. That gives us an entirely different advantage. And that, that we can actually win. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. But we're not doomed. Not yet. Ahoy, Bruce. Um, hi, Tony. Got a second? Maybe even three or four. What can I do you for? We good. I'm sorry? I testified under oath against the initiative that made us heroes. So I'll ask again. Are we good? You're off my list, if that makes you feel better. Yeah, it does. Then get the chip off your shoulder and stop tiptoeing around here like a ballerina. I'm not tiptoeing. Really? You're giving Nat a run for her money. You don't need forgiveness from me. I'm just worried it's never gonna be like it was. You want it to be? Having second thoughts about breaking up with Scientist Supreme? She did most of the breaking, so no. Cap says you're not handling the lack of public adoration well. Trying real hard to lean into that cultural cachet of being infamous to fill that famous void. Oh, and how's that working out for you? Not great. Turns out I do a lot better with direct and unambiguous affection. Have you seen Kamala's room? Big fan. Oh, I know the real deal. She's been trying to get Carol's autograph out of me for months. She does answer her pages, if we asked. I like the kid. I do. But Carol's got one or two things on her plate right now. Yeah, I don't think you've given your last interview. That helps. No, oh, I'm sure I haven't. But I do have to say part of our problem was the fanfare. The spectacle. You know, this stuff gives people hope, right? It doesn't have to be about us giving them hope. Making it about just the Avengers may have been part of the problem. Hey, hey, Nat. Hey, hey, Tony. Tony, we need to have a little chat. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? If you were, you'd know. Right now, I just need to make sure we're seeing each other eye to eye. 
Oh, I looked down one time, and you've never let me hear the end of it. That was your last joke. You're cut off. I need you to be serious. Right, fine. What do you need? Every day we go up against AIM with the kid, her life is in danger. That's a choice she's making, but it's the one we're letting her make. I need to see that you understand what that means. I hear you. If I'm ever going to take anything seriously, it's the kid. I'm glad we're on the same page. Can't always tell with you. Well, that's hurtful, but completely fair. You can be a good man when you want to. Well, I'm glad someone thinks so. Everyone thinks so. I'm the only one man enough to say it to your face. You ready for this? Always. For what? You know what's coming, old man. Are you threatening me? Do I need to get Cap over here to mediate? Tony, if I wanted to threaten you, not even Cap could save you. I mean to train new blood. Oh, right. Expecting more stowaways? If the Avengers are going to survive, we're gonna have to grow and change. I can grow? I can change? Oh, you're not ready at all, are you? Sooner or later, you're gonna have to step back. We all are. See, intellectually, I know you're correct. We should prepare ourselves to pass the torch gracefully. Uh-huh. But, as a counterpoint, I don't want to. <laughs> Look at it this way. Either you do it on your terms, or we're gonna do it for you. Oh, you're a monster. Keep telling yourself that. Watching your back, Tony? Always. Why, what do you know? What's the longest you've spent undercover? AIM doesn't even break the top ten, if that's what you're asking. Who's the current record holder? That would be this one. Natasha Romanov, Avenger. Ooh, good answer. Was it always your plan to stop working for AIM when the Avengers came back? I didn't think we could stay away too long, but I had to keep the plates spinning until the right time came. Well, it must have been hard, not knowing when the end was coming. No different than right now. Did you keep track of the rest of us when you were undercover? Of course I did. Best I could. Did you know... Did you know I was in a bad place? Yeah. I knew. If I had... I mean, if I needed help, would you have come for me? You want me to say yes, but I can't. No, I know. Wasn't fishing. You were alive and occupied. I had to have priorities. And you assumed I could handle myself? Sure. Ah, mark the calendar. Natasha Romanoff almost gave me a compliment. And this is why I don't do it more often. No, no, can't take it back. Locked in the brain forever. Tony? Nice having you back on board, Cap. Not quite the same, is it? Suppose we ought to be grateful we're here at all. Sure, yeah. Sure, that's one way of looking at it. But that's not how you're looking at it. I miss being famous. You remember? The way people's faces lit up when we arrived? Sure I do. I miss it. I miss being mobbed with cameras, and I miss the shrieking and the yelling. I miss people looking at me. I'm looking at you right now. And I appreciate it. It's just not the same. You know they hate us now. People. Oh, really? Oh, really. You should have heard the things they said about us. Terrible things. All over the internet. Didn't you tell me to never read the comments on those things? Yeah, but that's only because when we first got you a computer, you insisted on politely replying to all of them. So what's next? I was thinking about another cup of coffee. Well, that's an idea, but I meant in the long term. Oh, of course. Well, lunch at some point, I would imagine. You know, I think that kid is a bad influence on you. You have a real attitude now, mister. For once, though, I'm being serious. What was the question? Kamala's a hell of a start, but we might want to think about who to pass all this on to. You want to get more kids involved with all this? I would settle for some spry 20-somethings.
Oh, Captain, my Captain. You gonna keep going? I don't know the rest. You're looking for our fearful trip is done. Looking a little stiff there. You feeling all right? Sure. Never better. Uh-huh. I'm fine. Well, that was so convincing. Thanks for putting my mind at ease. All right. Maybe I've been a little bit slower to recover lately. You were in a coma for five years. I was in a coma for five years. In space. Which is bound to set anybody back a little bit, right? Could we talk about Kamala? I'm concerned this isn't the most nurturing environment for a high school student. What, you mean living on a decommissioned warship with international fugitives fighting an illegal insurgency against a multinational corporation? Oh, that'd be the gist, yeah. A kid her age has needs, and, uh, uh and boundaries for healthy development, and, and I'm worried we can't provide that for her. Are you reading parenting books? One. Or five. You are such a dad. I just think we could stand to provide a little more stability for her. Maybe we could all make a point of eating supper together some nights, or... That is the corniest goddamn thing you've ever said. Well, I don't hear you suggesting anything. No, it's a great idea, and I'm completely on board. It's just corny as hell. You even said supper. 